Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing booty slash glute activation exercises. So it's so so important that you do these exercises before you start your um, glute workout. So if you don't know what glutes are, these are muscles located in the um, bum booty area and there are three major muscles. Um, gluteus maximus which is the largest muscle which um, is located on the side of your uh, so there are three major areas of the glute muscle um so there is gluteus maximus which is the largest part which shapes the side of your booty and then you have gluteus medius and gluteus medius which are the small um the smallest muscles which help with like movement and these are the three major um muscles in the booty area glute activation is so so important it's just a series of warm-up exercises to fire up the glutes so that they're ready um for the workout it's so important to do this because if you imagine that every single day a lot of the time we spend sitting down and um your glute muscles become really lazy so it's so important to fire them up before you do any exercises just in general when you're about to do a workout it's so important to just do a warm-up in general um to make sure that your risk you're reducing the risk of any injuries and that your muscles are ready for the workout also it's important to make sure that you do these um exercises correctly because if in long term if you do them incorrectly it can lead to imbalances and it can lead to injuries so make sure you do these um, exercises properly and in general that you warm up properly so they're going to be about six exercises and um, i've got a band here which i'm going to be using throughout i'm going to use some exercises with it and some without it you can do these exercises without a resistant band but like i always say it's so much better to do it with a resistant band because it makes it more challenging for your muscles and they work so much better but like i said you can do it without it it's gonna be a maza let's get straight to it The first exercise we're going to be doing are fire hydrants. So you can do this without a resistant band if you want. I'll show you how to do it with a resistant band. Like I said, you can do it without it. So just remember that. Um, these are from Pro Works. if anyone's wondering. I was gifted by someone and this is the light version. Um, the light version, I can't lie, is a bit strong. So that's why I'm using it today. And um, yeah, so we're gonna do fire hydrants. If no one's seen them before, you position yourself in this position here and you just extend one leg to the side and then one to the other. So I'll just show you quickly. So obviously, because I've got a resistant band, there's more resistance there, which doesn't seem like I'm pushing a lot, but I am. So just make sure that you try and push as far as you can, not to the point where you're like injuring yourself so just be careful with that so we're going to do 15 seconds on this side and 15 seconds on that side okay i've got a timer here so if you see me looking down i'm looking at the timer so i can switch to the other side so we're going to start ready now so as you can see these are really good with working the side of the bee. And it really helps as well shape, give you that tiny nice shape as well. The other side. Make sure you leave yourself a bit more room than I have. <laughs> There you go. So those are fire hydrants. Like I said, you can do it with a resistant band or without. The next exercise I'm going to be showing you guys are donkey kicks. So I'm going to do this one without a resistant band so you guys can see. So if anyone hasn't seen what a donkey kick looks like, in the same position as a fire hydrant, and all you do is kick back. And you should really see that it works your glute muscles. It really, really does. This is a really good exercise. And it's a known exercise for working your glutes. But like I said, we're going to be doing 30 seconds on this side and 30 seconds on that side. When you're ready, one, two, three, go.
30 seconds on that side and we're going to switch right straight away to the other side and we're going to do 30 seconds on this side let's go 30 seconds. I always find myself tipping on one side, so try and keep yourself as straight as possible seconds. and your back as straight as possible. Yeah. It's 30 seconds on the timer guys. So that was donkey kicks and now we're going to be doing side lane clams and I also do front clams as well. So I'm going to do this one with a resistant band because I feel like it works so much better with a resistant band. I, I think it does work without a resistant band but I just don't feel it as much. I always prefer doing it with a resistant band. So I'm just going to show you quickly what a clam is so i'm going to show you how to do well to the front they call it a hip abduction um but i just call it a front clam and then obviously to the side as well so you just literally pull apart your legs and bring it back down pull apart your legs and put it back together again that's all it is and um, we're going to do 30 seconds this side 30 seconds that side and 30 seconds on that side as well ready Let's go. So that's 30 seconds for that one. And now we're gonna do the side ones. So just laying in this position, arms like this, and just do exactly the same thing. Ready? Let's go. And I tend to put my hand here. There, guys, maybe there. Your glutes should be on fire right now. And that's 30 seconds on that side. And now we're going to be doing this side again, same position. Almost like you're chilling. Let's say you're like chilling on the beach and put your hand here so you can just keep the balance there. Ready? Let's go. It really is relaxing sitting in this position, although my glutes on fire, it's nice. There you go, and that's 30 seconds on that one. So, I hope you guys are really, really feeling it right now because I am. It's crazy intense and these are just warm-up exercises so these definitely fire up your glutes and get them ready to do an intense workout if you are doing one but anyways on to the next exercise we're going to be doing glute bridges you lay down in this position and all you do is lift your bum up and hold it if you want to add anything extra, what I do sometimes is lift it up, open and back down again, which is what I'm going to do just to add that intensity in it. You can do it like that and hold it for two seconds. Make sure you're really squeezing it and you're keeping it straight as well and back down again. Don't just go, that's not really going to work. You've got to really, really feel it and you've got to hold at least two seconds up one two and back down again 
So we're gonna go straight to it now. Just gonna put the timer on. We're gonna do this for 30 seconds. Ready? Let's go. And that's 30 seconds on the time one. That was glute bridges. We have two more exercises left. So the next exercise is another one on the floor, which is similar to a donkey kick. So we're gonna do glute kickbacks, which normally I do do this standing up, but it's all right, we can do this. But just to show you guys what it is, is that you're in the same position as you would with a donkey kick or fire hydrant and all you do is extend bring it back and you just push it in a bit more going past where your other leg is and put it back again in out make sure you're really extending that leg um but i want to get straight into this so we're going to do 30 seconds on one leg and 30 seconds on the other so ready and like before i say you can do this with a resistant band if you want to as well ready Let's go. in extend Guys, keep going. Keep going. And that's 30 seconds on that side, and we're literally going to go straight onto the other side. Ready? Let's go. No breaks there. Keep those. There you go. I hope you guys are really, really, really feeling it at the moment. We've got one more exercise. I'm just gonna move the camera up so you guys can see me because this is a standing up exercise. Give me one moment. So, the last exercise we're gonna be doing are lateral banded walks. So sometimes this is known as crab walks, but obviously with a resistant band, I would recommend doing this with a resistant band. You can do it without, but um, just again, to add that intensity, I would do it with a resistant band. So all you do is put the resistant band on your thigh area here and in almost like a squat position, all you do is walk. <laughs> Literally, all you do is walk and you really should be feeling it to an extent on your bum area especially with that resistant band you're definitely going to be feeling it so i just want to get straight into this we're going to be doing this for 30 seconds the last last exercise guys please push for it you can definitely get through this ready let's go As well. So I really really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I just wanted to do like a really quick glute activation video just to show you a few glute 
activation exercises. Like I said, it's really, really important to fire up your glutes before you do any glute exercise. And just in general, again, make sure you warm up before any exercise to avoid any injuries or long-term imbalances. I hope you guys are feeling all fired up and I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Like I always say, comment down below for any suggestions, subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell so you guys can see many, many more of my videos. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.